I always look at you, and then when I watch the beginning of these sometimes, I'm like, don't look at you. Don't look at me. <laughs> here, I'll stand right here. No, it's okay. It's all right. It's just something for me to do while we wait for commercials. And then I looked Ooh. to see if I had any commercials on my iPad, and I've got my reference photo up. Which Ooh. of the following brands do I have a positive opinion about? Joanne Fabrics, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or none of the above? Well, you just gave them free advertising. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're, we're good to go. <laughs> hey, friend. Past day, friend. Day. I'm so glad you're here with me today. Emily is here with me behind the scenes. Hello. I do it different every time. We're going to paint this cute little bumblebee painting on a four by four inch canvas panel from US Art <laughs> Um, I drilled some holes in it. You have to do that if you don't want to. Shows you how to wire I'm buffering on my end on uh -oh. all my devices, but the phone. Okay, I can do the phone. <clears throat> I'm just gonna go to the analytics and see what it says for me. I don't know if it will. I got the phone. Okay. I think we're buffering hard though. Are we? What's yeah. my router say? It's green. It's green. Okay, I'm going to go to YouTube. Sorry, guys. Let us know in the chat if we're buffering. Or it's white. Hello, everyone. Hope everyone's doing well, says Suzanne. Let us know if we're buffering. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it's really weird on my iPad. I think they can hear us. Maybe I don't not. hear anything. Maybe not. Maybe those are all hellos from the delay. Oh, wait. Just kidding. Oh, now it snapped in, didn't it? I'm going to keep moving just a little bit here. No one's commenting. I think we did. My okay, phone we're, still I says okay. Yeah, I think we're fine. Oh, you taped for me. Yay. I taped it. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know if we buffered really hard. Well, nobody's commenting, though. But if they can hear us, I can hear buffering. you. I can hear you. Oh, there we go. It's been a while. Oh, I can hear you. Thanks, Lori. <laughs> There's a delay. I'm like, come on, guys. <laughs> I'm impatient because I'm like, no. A couple weeks ago, we had um, microphone trouble. Oh, Deborah says better now. Okay, good. That must have been our connection. Okay, great. Thanks, guys. All right, so let's go over my palette. I, I haven't used it in a while, and it's just a fun color. So this color right here is bright aqua green. Um, it says it's um, opaque. There it has the numbers PG7, PW6. That would be how you mix it. I would have to look up what those numbers mean. Um, you could mix like a thalo green or a thalo blue green shade, some yellow and some white and get something close. But it's just a fun color. I like, I like buying art supplies. Um, I'm using Prism Violet. Oops, these are all Liquitex. And so the background this muted pretty gray purple is the bright aqua green and the prism violet mixed together. And I just took a um, three quarter inch flat, oh sorry, I just hit my microphone. Three quarter inch flat brush from Royal and Langnickel and just went up and down. Let it dry if I didn't like what was happening. You know, just put on some layers until I was pretty happy with it. Um, I have links in this video's description to no pressure, just in case you're curious, to U.S. Art Supply, Royal Lang Nickel, and a few others. Okay, but then we have Titanium White. Quinacridone Magenta. I use, you guys won't be shocked with my colors. <laughs> hey, Chase Man, I just saw you on the top of my phone. Thank you so much. You spoil me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mars Black. I was looking at my phone to make sure I had the paint in, in, the, in frame, and I saw Chase. So just a lot of yellow and a pinch of black makes a pretty olive green color. And, oh, I've got paint on it. Cad yellow medium hue. <laughs> okay, so those are my colors. I already painted the background, so it's dry. Um, the reference photo, I don't know what kind of flower that is. It's linked. I, I didn't show it in the beginning. Ah, oh. I, I got thrown off by nothing. 
<laughs> yeah, I was gonna say either. nothing bad happened yet. <laughs> I got thrown off by nothing. Here you can you can watch the streaming, you know, in delay. I don't know what kind of flowers those are, but the link to this photo is in this video's description. They're pretty. They look easy too. Well, they are easy and they're fun. And then all I did was, you know, did a simple little design of, you know, bigger flower here, smaller flower there, and a bee. So, you know, I talk quite often about keeping you in the painting. So that's all I did. Okay, I think, here we'll give you a shot of this before I say it. I think that sets the table, Emily. <gasps> okay, I gotta do my job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see here. Oh, wait. I'm in the right window. I'm going to go at about a third while Emily's thinking and put the big one about there. Just give myself a little guide. Okay, let's see. So far in the chat tonight, we have Julia, Deborah, Marty, Suzanne, Leanne, um, Susie, Lori. Sorry. <laughs> I'm having to skip some chats. Um, Martha, Cindy, Glenda, and Gravy. Wow, hey everybody, thanks for coming. Are you shocked that we're painting it yet another bee design? <laughs> well, okay, what are the flowers that you're painting? I don't know, I don't know what they're called. I was I think, wondering if somebody knew, I don't know, if, I don't think they're Heather. I think they're, if they're on a little bush, then I think those, are, I have that bush, and the and the bunnies sit in that bush in the front. Yeah, it might be those, we used to have those here. The little bushy, flowery. Yeah, I don't know what they are. Somebody might know. All right, I think I'm just gonna take a, I'm gonna take a drink. Let's see. I don't really get sad. dry mouth, I get dry throat. <laughs> I'm going to um, take a flat brush. It's a half inch flat brush from Royal and Langnickel. It won't focus. I have to get my thumb in there. Sometimes it likes my thumb. Oh, I, I'm just reading that. Um, you already replied. <laughs> it must have been when I was looking at the camera or whatever, but or setting up the, the sound. sound. Um, that Deborah saw... Um, an old best of acrylics magazine and saw your Highland cow. The comb over one. So the one with the yellow <laughs> background. Cool. That was, I think, that, was that one of my first cows? Probably, yeah. That's very cool. Yeah, I've got a, an image of it on my About Me page on my website. There's a. Oh, Cindy said lavender question mark. It might be. I don't know. I was wondering. It might the be. reference photo didn't say. I don't believe. So I'm just putting some of the darker green down for a stem and just. Just wiggling. Leanne also says lavender. Do oh, I is it? That's what it looks like. Lavender in my front yard? <laughs> that, I'm sorry, what am I? was like, do I have lavender in my front yard? Maybe. I don't think so. Though. No, I don't think so. But I think that's what that is. It looks an awful lot like that. I don't know. I'm just putting in some dark. I don't know if I need to. I'm just kind of skipping. Well, I think that's totally lavender. <laughs> I googled. I have not seen. I'm going to take. Oh, so the lime green is a little bit, that's what's one of the fun things about the bright aqua green. You add some yellow to it and you get a pretty lime green and then I added some white and maybe a little more yellow to get a really bright color. Ooh. And then so if you want kind of a little bit mintier, add straight white to your lime green. If you want it warmer and lighter, I'm pretty sure I added more yellow. I know I added more yellow. I'm just kind of, I don't need, know if I need to do all this. I'm just, it's probably gonna cover a lot of it up. Mm. Um, Vanita also says that, uh, says, I thought the flower might be lupin, lupine, oh. but uncertain. It looks a lot like that. I Googled that. I've heard of it. I don't, you know. It looks very much like lavender-ish. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a flower to be. But it's got like the reddier color in it, whereas lavender is like the straight up kind of literal like when you think of lavender the color of lavender like a purpley or bluey or yeah light color this has also the shades of like the pinky so i'm gonna so this is i took the um prism violet and some white it makes a really pretty light purple color and then this one just has more white so i'm gonna take my lighter pinkish color and paint oh here i could scoot that down a little bit paint just hints of them in the background like i did on this one 
So th this one's lighter, this one's a little darker. That's where I'm going. Okay. In general, it can be easier to work back to front. It, acrylics are forgiving. I'm going to make that even lighter. Well, now that's lighter than I wanted it. <laughs> I want it soft. I think it'll dry. If I thin it out, it's growing on me too. It'll dry softer. can always reinforce it with more color. Just kind of do that. I might need a little water. Okay, so hopefully I keep holding it up in frame. So I was thinking I was done with bees for a while and then um, Emily and I hung my June show Monday. Emily spent her holiday morning with me and I'm like, oh, I'm going to need some more of these. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, am I ever, I'm probably never done with bees. No, you've been drawing them, painting them. Well, I don't tend to do them in the winter very mm -hmm. much. True, 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 true. But that's what I mean by done. I oh, guess I didn't yeah. mean done, done. I was thinking done, done. Yeah, I was, that's what I said. My brain went done, done. Well, that's what I said. That's just not what I meant. Usually the bees run just through spring for me painting them. Okay. I'm going to lean this one in. I tend to do that. I like to, even though this one's looking out of my image, I'm going to lean this one. I'm going to have it looking at my bee. And I'm trying to vary my heights a little bit. Those might line up. Make that one a little taller. So I just stick down, stick the corner down, and sometimes I make a chubby stroke. Try to vary them. Here, we'll make a little flat. Just put a stem on it. Okay, let's go a little darker now. It's hot here. It is hot. Is it like, it's not, it could be a lot hotter. It could it be a lot worse. But 90 degrees and the humidity showed up. Yeah, it's 88 on my watch. It oh, says. 88. But yeah, humid. The humidity has arrived. I mean, it's late. Of course, then we complain that it's dry because we need moisture. Yeah. <laughs> but it's been nice. Like when it's 80 and dry, it's like it's beautiful outside. Your brother was teasing me. I don't know what I said. Oh, He's like, said, well, we, we need, need the, the moisture. moisture. <laughs> <laughs> we need the moisture. Oh, it's raining, but we need the moisture. I'm like, okay. Um, what did, and one time, so I always wave, a, like, goodbye to Jack or something when, um, on Sunday dinner. I came out and he, or I, I said, oh, it's nice that I'm going to wave to you from outside. And he said, what did he say? Oh, I don't remember. Um, it's probably funny. It was, it was another you, like, ism it was like oh, well, it's Midwest it was something ism. about being like chilly or it's a little breezy i don't know what it was <laughs> it was a weird word for like chilly but it wasn't like it's a little coolio out here it's like it's the kind of word it was but i can't remember which it was i don't remember it's funny smart alec yeah he's been teasing me more about that but it's like it's a midwestern thing i think <laughs> All right, maybe i'll put in um i was just thinking there you could kind of tell Maybe I'll put in the big ones. You can load it up more. I was trying to um, paint less and see if I could get it to work. Sometimes I load them up, unless I'm really zoomed in. Like when I painted the bee, the, it has a traceable and it's a bumblebee butt on a cone flower. So I, this, I think, well, I think we'll just go medium. So it's kind of nice. I have three, you know, dark, medium, lightish. So I think we'll just start with the medium. And then we can work up and down. So the biggest thing for me 
is going to be random and chatting at the same time. <laughs> And you could use a filbert. You might get a little bit rounder tops on them. Okay, and then what if we have like one, maybe I'll do it over here, kind of coming up. And then kind of do it like we did on the other one. I liked it. Oh, I just thought of what Debbie, Deb, Deborah said in the, the chat. I'm going to be in the Artist Magazine uh, be, uh, feature on the best acrylic artists this fall. Yay. And it, it's three cows. It's another oh. cow. It's oh, it's Mavis, it Mavis? Mavis? Mavis in the middle. Mavis in the middle. Yeah. It, that just popped into my head like, oh, that's kind of ironic. But I do paint a lot of cows. Oh, and I didn't ask you if we have a, do we have a commercial? Yeah, I told you, but you were oh, shopping. Okay. <laughs> I was buying my glasses. <laughs> well, I don't know, yeah, whatever you were. So I kind of covered up my stem that I spent all that time on. I do that. So I drop down a little further. You see, I don't know how true, I don't have the reference photo up. I don't know how true I need to stick to it. I kind of want to fill it in. All right, let's try to do something a little different here. And then that isn't. I need a little water. How do I know if I need water? Oh, it just wasn't flowing as well off my brush. You, you whoops, am I, I'm creeping up. Um, you'll have personal preferences of what you like. It'll depend on how many fans are running, that kind of thing. Okay, how about if we, oh, I don't know if I like where I put that one. Let's just kind of put some blobs. They're running together, but I can separate them. <laughs> are they all looking kind of the same? Hmm. We can separate them with our other colors. That's not bad. Leave it alone. Can you see how it's drying darker? The thinner the paint, the darker it'll dry. Plus it's on the blue, so it starts the, as it dries, the background color starts showing through a little bit. Um, if it was thicker, it would dry about a half step darker. I don't mind that, because you can just keep bringing up your values. So I'm using my other painting as a reference photo. I assume you, some of you guys have painted some of my other bees. I linked a couple in this video's description. I keep changing how I do the bees too. Deborah says, um, that's great, you're going to be in another magazine. It was funny to me that I recognized your style before I saw your name. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't changed that much. Well, that was one of my more colorful ones for back then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If it was... Um, oh, the cat was in the book, and then they went to the magazine. Yes. So it was in Acrylic Works 8. Mm -hmm. I was, I've been in 6, 8, and then I'll be in 10, which is also kind of funny. Yeah, that is funny. I'm like, I think that probably was me, but since I didn't know what you saw, you know. You're only allowed to be in the even numbers? I don't know. Well, I was supposed <laughs> to be in um, nine, and, and then they ran uh, the Mavis in the Middle painting as an ad, which I was really excited about. Mm -hmm. And then they forgot me. Oh. That's okay. I'll be in ten, you know. Mm-hmm. all right because I thought gosh if they ran the ad I'm pretty sure I made it in and I never you know and I sent him a message and no you know <laughs> and then she I don't know how long much later they contacted me and said whoops 
I'm like, oh, that's all right. Okay. That kind of needs to dry. Maybe we'll come back with a little bit of our pink and give these just a little... I don't really have a light source. I'm just thinking, oh, where's Mr. Sun? Mr. Sun has phone. I just dropped in behind a bunch of stuff. He's got to make an appearance, but I don't know if I have room. Actually, he would go like right there on top. Pretty much from the top is where our sun's coming from. Maybe I'll just tuck him. Emily made Mr. Sun. And then she put him in our merch, my, my our, my? Merch Yours. store <laughs> on YouTube as a sticker. And is he anything else besides a sticker? I don't remember. Um, I'll look. I don't know what he's on. I assume a cup or a mug, probably. He's probably on a mug. I literally was oh, going to yeah, type in Mr. Cup, Sun. Cup of Sunshine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he's on a cup. Uh, what's your name? <laughs> uh, Mr. Sunshine. No, your name. <laughs> oh, my name. <laughs> I was, trying to type in your web yeah, I was trying to type in your website, and I was like, oh, what's your name? What's my name? Let's see here. <laughs> They're not going to believe you're my daughter. I'm a paid actor. <laughs> <laughs> you don't actually have a daughter at all. I'm just a paid actor. Well, that's why you're, well, that, we talked about favorite. Was that last time? That's why you're my favorite? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just a mug and then the sticker is all he's on. So I just dipped my uh, palette knife in a little bit of water because my paint's skinning over already. That works for a little bit, but then also the water evaporates faster than like if you use put medium in it. Either one can make, a, make it a little more transparent. The water is just handy. So I'm just dipping the corner of my brush in there. We're going to kind of make some, some blobby dots. Oops, that was really blobby. Let's kind of smooth out what's on my brush there. I think this might be my easiest. Well, the clover is pretty easy. This might be my easiest bee painting. Hmm. And you do a lot of bees. Yeah. Well, I might be wrong. Trying to just think, well, like, maybe in the middle. That's kind of fun. You guys like watching paint dry? <laughs> Literally what you're doing. <laughs> Emily and I, I need to figure out what... Sh what um, show to watch next we've been watching parenthood which is an old tv was well, that was probably an old tv series i mean it's not we've watched older i guess true it's like well i guess we're gonna watch handmaid's tale no that we've already watched that oh no no um Ma 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 marvelous miss Maisel. yeah yeah the final season yeah so we're gonna watch that next but we need another series We haven't talked about TV in quite a while. Or whatever you call it, streaming. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think if there's anything that a season came out. I think it's only Miss Maisel that we need to catch up on. Oh, I suppose Yellowstone if we're going to go back. Oh, to yeah, it. if we go back. I'm just kind of thinking bottom and random. Not. My paint's a little wet, so it's not sticking. The paint underneath it. My favorite son Jack was saying Succession is pretty good. Oh yeah. Do you have HBO? M? Um, upstairs I do. Ooh. Upstairs I do. Does anybody else like that if they've seen it? That has um. Is that scary? I don't think so. Oh. 
This is scary. Is that scary? <laughs> Let's see. I think it's like a comedy drama, right? Oh, or no. I don't know if it's a comedy. Dark comedy. Oh, it is. It's got, what's his face in it, I think, that I, um... Oh, yeah, it's got um, Cam from... Oh, Modern Ferris, Family? No, Ferris Bueller. Oh, Cameron. Cameron. Oh, He's yeah. in it. Well, who else is in it that I would know? Or you would know? I'm going to work on my bee a little bit while my flower dries. I'm going to see if I can use this number six. I, and in one video I said it was a 22 because I saw the number. I don't know what that number is for. But it's a number six Princeton round. It's starting to get loud, but I think it'll still... Oh, yeah. It'll still hold a point. Let's see. Let's grab some white. So I assume, I mean, we've done this before. Holding it up works. You can see it way better. I'm holding it over my palette, but I think I'm moving it. So this will be yellow. And then I can use the green almost for like the shadow. Oh, I might have made that too big. We can skinny it up with some black. He's a little off. Oh, I think I'm getting, I was getting Succession mixed up with Severance. Ooh, I've seen Severance. Because Severance has... Um, That's on Apple TV, right? Oh. And it, so it has Adam Cam's Scott from Perks and Rick in it. Yeah, it has Adam. That's Adam Scott. Yeah, I've seen mm -hmm. it. I could watch it again, though. It's been long enough. <laughs> I won't really remember. And it's got um, Christopher Walken, <laughs> too. Oh, it does? Apparently. Well, I didn't 19 see. episodes. See, I don't, I already don't remember that. Um, oh, the woman, oh, the, the, one of the leading ladies is in, um, is a lady in, it was at Medium? Oh. Where she's like a psychic lady and then she helps the police. We watched several episodes of it. Oh, pa Patricia Arquette, here yes. she is. Yeah. Yes. The lady. The lady. That one lady. Oh, there's a lot of names in here. There's a lady. This... Hey, Glenda. Sorry, um. I just happened to look at chat. <laughs> in succession? Uh, yeah. Um, Gwendolyn. She's in Game of Thrones. Yeah, I don't know that. Maybe I should watch Game of Thrones. Oh, I guess Abby was saying maybe not. What? I should watch. Maybe I wouldn't like Game of Thrones at Christmas. It's quite gory. It's gory. Yeah. Although I handle a lot more gore than I used to. We can chat about whatever he's painting instead of what Emily and I are going to watch next. Just putting a little shading in. I don't know if I need to do it. And I'm kind of messing it up a little bit. So these, this, that'll be under the yellow. And then I get scared because it's kind of dark. Let's see, hopefully that's in frame. That's the only thing about when I hold it up, I worry I'm gonna go off course. Here's a question. Did any of you guys watch David Jansen on YouTube. He's a acrylic painter. He paints with a lot of open medium um, and extender, so he paints like an oil painter. He's 60-something. I don't know. Um, I was watching his newest video today, and it was really interesting. And I was, I was happy to hear him. He's much more efficient with, with his brush strokes than I am. I'm getting better. Um, he has some great tips in his newest video, if that interests you. He painted a cowboy and, a, oh, and some cows. Um, but he was like, he was saying he gets, Emily, he, this is also for you. Mm -hmm. He was saying he gets yelled at because his videos are too long. And I get, <laughs> I get yelled at because I time lapse. 
You can't, you can't win. And he's like, well, this would take me, you know. Yeah. His, he did a, he did a, oh, I'll just say, it, it wasn't quite 20 by 20, but he said it takes him like four or five hours. I'm like, oh, that would take me 10 for sure. Mm-hmm. You know, or more, depending on what, how much detail is in it. Is he the, you've, is he the guy you've talked about before that can just do like the one swipe of a pedal and he's done kind of thing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, or it, an apple or I don't know what it was. I, you're probably not going to think this at all, but he reminds me of Uncle Arnold for some reason. Okay, now I need to Google him. <laughs> he's out in western Nebraska, which I think is funny. Oh, yeah, okay. I, I, I don't know what he looks like, but... We've talked. I've talked about yeah. him. Yeah. I watch his videos sometimes. Well, and everybody does it differently. You can. I, I think you always are learning when you're painting. It's just like if you're playing a musical instrument or a sport. Oh, he does. Oh, he does? Okay. I see it. I wouldn't have probably thought it on my own. No, but... there, I think it's just a little bit of the hair, a little bit. Well, mm-hmm. and I think he's got a little, um, I don't know. I hear a little like Minnesotan. I don't think he's from Minnesota at all. But a little like, don't you know? Mm-hmm. You know. He seems like a really nice guy. I just thought that was so funny. Mm-hmm. He's like, now I'm going to time lapse now because this video is going to be probably close to two hours if I don't. <laughs> I thought it was funny. And everyone's like, please time lapse. And everyone in yours is like, please don't. I know. It is <laughs> funny. That's funny. Um, let's see here. Uh, Martha and Deborah. Mar- or Martha says, yes, I have. Martha says, or Martha says, yes, I have. Deborah says, I do. Yeah. Um Martha says, I love when he paints roses and fades away at the back. I'm sorry, hard to explain. <laughs> oh, no, I totally know what you mean. When the, he, since he uses the both the open. Oh, would you pick that? Yeah, oh, we'll no, that's just my paper towel. Oh, okay. Do you want I to get it? No, I don't need that. Okay. Anyway. Um, since he uses the open medium and the extender, and I think they must be really nice. Uh-huh. Um, one is Matisse, and one I think is either his brand. Mm-hmm. He, he's a paint chemist, or it's, I don't know, I've never... I think it's a heritage brand. I've never heard of it besides mm-hmm. him. Um, he can get the smearing like a oil painting in. And the fading. I don't remember what adjective you used. but Yeah, mm-hmm. I know what you mean. It's cool. Uh, Lori says, I have watched David and tried the 30 roses in 30 days. I did about 12 roses. <laughs> I have yet to paint a rose. I should watch some of his and see if mm-hmm. I can do it. It's all shapes and values. It'd be a lot of roses. Yeah, that's a lot of roses. 30 roses, 30 days. So I painted this one in purples. I guess I'm, I'm already started this one. We'll just do blacks. Whoops. Yeah, you guys might like his new one. He had a, he showed some glazing, which was great. I'm like, that's nice. But he had a whole bunch of little cows. He had a couple cowboys herding cows. And mm-hmm. He demoed in real time how to glaze the cows back. I'm like, I love that. I just um, did that on a um, on a chicken painting I have coming up. It's a little different use, but I just I glazed the whole background. Go ahead, hon. Oh, uh, Martha says I watched you this weekend and painted two of your daisies, daisies and bee tutorials. Really enjoyed oh, it. Thank you. Yay! They make me happy. I'm glad you liked them. That makes me really happy. And Leanne says he's the one that paints roses. He might, he's known for roses, I yeah. guess. Okay. <laughs> well, and I, he really, I, he might be one of the few. Oh, okay. Um, I've been painting your birds. Well, then Graham would have liked him because she has, like, that cabbage rose wallpaper yeah. Yeah. in the dining room still. Yeah. She, I, she probably would have. He's, I don't know how to describe him. Because she, like, hung up a printout of your pears or whatever. I know. That was funny. That was funny. Um. Graham's more Impressionism. Mm. Oh, Graham loves Impressionism. Um, he's mm. a little bit more, I want to say, like, Romanticism. He talks about the old Dutch masters a lot. Let's see. David Chan. I don't know if I'm putting him in the right buckets. So, sorry, David, if I'm messing up. I love those little bee. They look like jelly beans. <laughs> Just make me oh, they kind of, yeah, I agree with you, I think. A little bit. Yeah. It's it's kind of um, you know, straight up oil painting look. 
Mm-hmm. Which I love. I love all the soft edges you can get. Okay, I'm going to go back to my my flowers. There was like something else. I was, see, I was watching, I ate a late lunch and I was watching him. <laughs> there's was, there was a couple of good tips in the beginning too you guys might like. Yeah, I need, I need to be a little bit more, and it just comes, it's like, how do you get looser? Well, it comes with practice, too. Um, and then he'll, he's good at, like, one brush stroke. Mm -hmm. um, I forget what they call it. So, like, there's some, I was thinking about doing videos, like, a, you know, 10 brush stroke pair. You know, see if I can paint it in 10 brush strokes. And it gets you thinking more shapes and being more efficient, um, those kinds of things. I need to do that. But I also need to draw more and do lots of things too. We'll get there. I think I'm going to grab a little yellow. Maybe I'll mix with my palette knife. So he, I like watching him for that. And he paints with his fingers like I do. I don't smear as much as he does, but I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. yeah. I like to get my fingers in there. It's interesting, too, to listen to. Boy, it's like I'm, he should pay me. Um, just the terms he uses and how he uses them. We all do it differently. Oh, speaking of paying you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, Need to do a commercial. It's 37. And this break was brought to you by David I, Jansen. <laughs> I didn't feel it. I know, neither did I. Oh, I love, I love that there's a whole bunch of YouTubers to watch. I think that's fun. Marla Baguetta, I don't know how to say her last name. She does a little bit of everything, but I really like her pastel work. Hasn't been posting as often, and I'm bummed. <laughs> I, like, I, like, I like her really loose stuff. Um, I just want to take a quick second and thank Maggie L. for sending money to support the channel. And then Nan Nancy H. sent a super thanks under one of our videos, whoop, whoop. which is really exciting. I think that is that our second super thanks? I think so. Thank you, guys. We super appreciate the support. Um, I have a new microphone, but I'm, I'm going to save up for a really nice one because I don't... Oh, how's the sound, Emily? Are we pretty good? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I don't like this one, but it is better if I get it, like, right next to my throat. Otherwise, it's, it has a little tin can echoey sound. Anyway, thank you for sending support. Super appreciate it. That's it. That's quick. Okay. So I made kind of a peachy color, which is pretty. Here, I don't know if that helps. I could turn up, I've got my um, light low. I could turn it up too if we need to. I don't know if it's helping much. Yeah, I like the light. Okay. I have it kind of lower because I was, uh, on a previous video, I was getting some reflection. Mm -hmm. But since I'm holding this up, I'm not going to have that problem. So I just dipped in my corner and again, you could switch brushes. Well, you know what? I might be jumping ahead a little bit. Let's grab some pink. Let's do that. Oops, am I in frame? Yes. Are you still shopping, Emily? A little bit. I'm poking around other stuff. Get me something. Yeah, <laughs> you want something. <laughs> I'm kind of going for just a little darker. I'll probably want it lighter when, that dry, when it dries. So trying to cover everything up. It's easier said than done. But see, to me, it's a super relaxing once you kind of get the game plan in there of what, what I want to do. Oh, see, that did dry darker after I was worried. Oh, no, I don't know if I put that much on that one. Grab some of this.
Oh, I've got coming up a sea, uh, it'll be a small six by six sea turtle. Mm -hmm. That'll come up maybe towards the end of June. I have a, another hen, a cow with a traceable. Some of this is because I, I'm needing to replace what's at the gallery and what hopefully is going to sell. But the turtle will be new. That'll be my first time. The water will be easy. Yeah. Um, but it'll be my first time painting any water. So do you do like a blue, or I guess it doesn't really have that. I was going to say, are you going to do like a blue cast over the whole thing? But the reference photo doesn't really have that. Yeah, I think I am though. Oh, that'll be fun. It actually kind of does. It didn't print that way. Oh, okay. Yeah, it definitely didn't print that way. No, my printer can't. I'm going to wash off my... Oh, I didn't say what it was. It's a general white charcoal pencil. Pencil. Just going to wash some of it off. I forget to do that sometimes. I'll photograph the painting and when I'm zoomed in I'll see little bits. I just Photoshop it out. Should we put some... We could do... It really does... The order doesn't really matter too much. We could put some green in there. Or we could go to the highlights. We could work on the bee. Let's just switch colors for giggles. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. We'll go that way and then we'll just kind of stamp. I think I'll bring it over a little more. I think I'll stamp the whole thing. I don't know if I like that. I didn't really like this one, but I don't know if I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. I think I probably want that darker green. Let's see. Oh, I had the green pointing at my B. Can you see that? Yeah, it's in frame. So maybe we'll straighten one up. I do this a lot. Like, so the B is looking into the V shape. Mm -hmm. It does look into the middle. A lot of times I try not to have it in the middle. If I have this on a third, and this one starts over here on a third, but I pulled it over more. Um, and then I'll have the heights of these going like this, so it's you kind of... Hopefully your eye does that. It's, it's overthinking it, but that's why I do that quite a bit. If you don't like drawing lines, that's, kind of an, e that's an easier way to get in a weed. Let's put in some dark greens. So mostly, the big challenge for me on this one was seeing if I could do the purple and, and bright aqua green background. It worked. I thought it worked out pretty well. Maybe I'll just do that. I'm just looking to fill space. Make that one dark. <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel like everybody's kind of chill tonight. We are chill. Just it's a good thing. Straight vibes, you know? <laughs> so if I push harder, I get a fatter line. I feel like this could easily be like seaweed. Oh, it really could. You know, some Change different the color. colors. Mm -hmm. Put a little jellyfish in there. Mm -hmm. I totally could. You, I'm feeling that. I'm just gonna grab some of my medium green. I don't know if that's gonna do anything. Well, here we could put it. I got a blob. I think I should just let that alone. I don't know if that's doing much.
Sometimes I just come back and vary the color just to make it interesting. I can maybe hold it a little closer. Like, do I need? I don't know if I even need that. All right, let's go back to our purple, or else our our bumblebee. I don't remember what's posting. Oh, I think um, Queen Anne's lace is posting Friday. So we're this is uh, May thirty first, twenty twenty three. If you're watching this in the replay, yeah. And then I think a uh, little landscape. Mm -hmm. Oh, with a traceable. I sketched out a traceable post Sunday. Mm -hmm. So it's cloud practice, uh, ground, grasses, field practice, and a little tiny barn, small trees. I think you guys will like that one. Okay. Um, let's, I'm going to, is everything staying in? I'm going to lighten this up a little more. Oh, here. I've been trying to... I always... I mix little puddles with my brush, and there's nothing wrong with it. But it can just be easier and save your brushes if you don't do that so much. You totally use a bigger palette. You'll have more room for mixing and playing. It's a little lighter color. I like that I can put these in gallon baggies and you guys can see it, which I've said. If you've been with me, I've said that a lot. I never know who's going to be new. <laughs> I like how the yellow almost vibrates with that aqua. It does, yeah. It really, sh it really is. The, the compliment's purple. Maybe it's because I've got the purple bee. We'll have to see what the yellow does over here. I've even got a brighter aqua. Almost in person, it kind of hurts your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the good kind of eye hurt, though. Yeah. <laughs> I remember, I don't know when. I think it was college, and I don't remember. It had to been a color theory class where we had to make colors vibrate. We basically used compliments. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what I did. I just remember my eyes aching. The project must not have been that great. <laughs> not that rememberable. Memorable? Yeah. Rememberable. <laughs> I like that. So what's nice if I'm just thinking light on the top, I can just kind of put it wherever I want. And just less of it. Each color, well, not that's not literally true, but definitely less as you get towards the highlights. And then if you really want to think it, you could go darker as you go down. Ooh, I think I'm going to leave that thick. Should I kind of put one there? Oh, I lined those up. Let's make that one longer. It's kind of fun. I like the, the little pattern, like little confetti. So did we figure out if this is lupine or did we give up? I... The varying color. Well, from the photo or from what I'm painting? Oh, I guess. I would look. The photo is all purple. Let's see. I'll look at the photo. I'm not. I'm making this sort of whatever Annie Tro likes mm -hmm. with color. Um. Ooh, that might be lavender. <laughs> I don't so we, really know, we though. Decide. To be honest, I don't know. I don't Put a little of that in here. I didn't do it on the other one. So okay, now, if it's everywhere, everybody, it's nowhere. If it's everywhere, it's nowhere. I'm just gonna put, just do a couple and stop. Oh, I kind of like that. That's pretty. I like that better than than this one. I don't know if you can see it on the stream. I might need little whites or more limey green. Another coat of limey green. Mm-hmm. Have it pop out a little bit better. Okay, we need legs and we need wings and we need color. Let's do color. Oh, I could even mix up and 
So on this one, it's kind of neat. It has just the aqua showing through underglow. And on this one, I totally forgot that I painted the bee purple, and then I painted it gray because that's just habit. Mm -hmm. But maybe we could put a little bit of the orange, or we could make an orange. I'm going to make an orange. I don't know if I'm even going to use it, but we'll make one. So I go through a lot more yellow than I do, uh, and white, than I do any other color. Because yellow isn't very heavily pigmented. It's a light color. And it should just take a little bit of quinacridone. We'll see what we get here. And I'm getting better at this, but I used to end up making, I'd forget. And I'd almost, I would end up just scooping off the paint because I had this huge puddle of something that was way too red or too, you know, dark or whatever. Because I, like, I still forget black is really strong. I mean, it just seems kind of obvious. But I'll, I'll do it. So I was pretty cautious there. So that's a, that's a yellow orange. It's pretty. It's pretty. Look a little darker. That might be orange enough for me. And if you want those two colors, make it here. Should I just make a red? I've got. We're doing an easy painting tonight. Or do, is that boring if I make a red? No. Oh. Well. Makes you a red. I wasn't asking you. Well, I'm the only voice that's here right now. You are the only voice, and Freckles is sleeping. Yeah, Freckle doesn't get a vote. She's asleep. Freckles is my cat. <laughs> so we grab a little bit bigger blob. Because I learned. I'm going to turn it because I... Oh, there's a little black in there. Or gray. I got some, something dirty. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I picked up a little something. Probably a little bit of that. Oh, that's a red orange. Oh, and I just picked up some quinacridone. I do recommend having more space to paint and mix. And yeah, you got a lot of colors on your one little palette. Yeah. I, I mean, I do like them. I'm complaining, but I do like them. And I like that then I can get closer with... Oh, hopefully my hair isn't in the way. I can get closer with my phone to video. <clears throat> Hema says, just came to say hello. I'm already late for the session. Bumblebee looks too cute. Hey Hema, I hope you're having a good day today. I almost caught, I don't know if it was a live or a premiere. I came home from something. It was like finished 11 minutes ago. I'm like, no, <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to catch one. I think that's still kind of red orange, but it's getting pretty. So we just do a little more. You guys can say no. This is for you. I don't know if you'll see the difference. I can see it. Sorry, I keep moving. I'm just trying not to mix into my other pile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that still might be a little red orange. Start splitting hairs. But I think I'm going to call this one good because I don't think it's changing much, especially on video. Yeah, that's fun. Or buy a red. I like it because the quinacridone is semi-transparent. The box is half full. And the yellow, I'm pretty sure is semi-transparent. I should know by now. Yeah, oh, it's really teeny though. And so then I, I have a red I can glaze with. Sometimes the red, depending on the brand or which red you buy, it's more opaque. If you want to make it more opaque, you put just a little bit of white in it or paint white underneath it. Or a light color, like a light beige, or depends on what you're painting. Okay, I don't want that brush. I got a little into the color mixing there. So we grab some straight up yellow. Let's paint some yellow on here. So painting the white underneath makes the yellow pop. Here, if I put yellow straight up on the on the on the bright aqua green slash purple, you barely see it. It looks like my lime green. I think I'm going to paint orange. 
on the gray area. Oops, did I slide? I slouched and I didn't know if I slid out of frame. Oh yeah, a little bit. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I mean, not what you were painting, but... I slouched right out of frame. All right, uh, this should, between the gray underneath and then the orange color, it should look different. I think I kind of like the aqua underglow on the other one. Oh, it just popped into my head to splatter. Ooh. I usually only splatter for snow. <gasps> At Christmas time, I just heard the doorbell. Text your brother. Did you hear me? Um, oh, you want me to text Jack? Yeah, text your brother his package arrived. What if it's not his package? I'm sure it is. <laughs> well, you could say, I heard the doorbell. Let's see here. I am, I am on um, focus mode or whatever, privacy mode, so. Oh, I don't know if I can from my computer. Oh, you probably can't. You could from your phone. I have my phone running the sound. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. Dad will probably tell him. Or actually, uh, Amazon may tell him. <gasps> Amazon probably will. Amazon will probably Amber, tell him. Amazon's good about like, hey, we dropped your stuff off. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> Sometimes they even tell me, like I've been noticing a lot more, they tell me like, 10 stops away. Can we see the change or do I need to make it darker? You guys let me know in the chat. Oh, I really like the the yellow on the background flowers. Yeah, it's pretty. I don't know. I kind of like this B shape better. <laughs> <laughs> the critic jump. You bounce between the critic and the creative. So a little water, a little thin black. Roll it to a point. Let's start with. I'm gonna, I think the legs come out of the black. Well, I don't know if that's true. I'm gonna put a leg here. I'm gonna see, sometimes I only put one leg if it's a really little bee. And then sometimes I only put two legs. Oh, I think I'm gonna like these legs better. I'm doing them a bit more slowly. Mm, that's a delivered in the family <laughs> group chat. Oh, good. Let's see. I think I wanna set it down. And then kind of, whoops, that was big. Let's see how much I dislike it. Oh, well, I don't know if I dislike that too much. I could wash it off while it's still wet, or I could skinny it up with some of my background color. I might just leave it. Oh, I lined them up. Uh-oh. I kind of lined these two up too, also. get away with it. So push up into it. Kind of tricky because sometimes it, with all that water it wants to run on you. I love his little like downturned antennas. They're cute. Yeah. Makes it look more like he's looking down. It does. I might um, bring up his eye a little bit. He really, I don't know if he'd ever see his eyes. They're pretty dark right there. I might darken this a little. Just so the wing will show on it. Ooh. I can make it purple. The shadow must be okay. I don't know if anybody commented on the... So the, the orange isn't really showing. The mm -hmm. gray does. I could put a little more orange in it. It's probably pretty dry. Oh, and that dried the same value. Huh. Was that this color? 
I was all worried about if it's everywhere, it's nowhere. <laughs> it went nowhere. It went nowhere. It dried to nothing. It dried to nothing. <laughs> Has that ever happened to you guys? Art problems. I like little dots. Oh, yeah, I was going to splatter. Maybe I don't want to put too many dots. Let's see. Let's reinforce the green. We'll let our bee dry a little bit. So back to my half inch flat from Royal and Lane Nickel. I think I'd know. It's the silver. All right, let's um, maybe grab a little white and my limey green. Kind of punch it up. It's okay if I miss. Oops, am I in? I just saw Jack reply on my phone. Oh. I looked at my phone to see if I was in frame. <laughs> I didn't see anything come through on mine. Oh. Actually, I shouldn't see anything because I put it on focus, didn't mm. I? Yeah, it says, um, well, you may, you won't get a buzz buzz, but you might get like a little drop down. Oh. I still get the notification. Mm-hmm. I'm like, no. Yeah, because it says you're on focus on mine. Yeah, the iPad says I am. No, that didn't do anything. Same value. I'm probably overthinking it. Okay, I'm going to look at it in the, the stream. Well, it won't go away. I'm going to see if I can swipe it up. There we go. It's in my way. Oh, I think we're getting there. Let's do the wings. So the wings, you could use titanium white. I put out more paint than I would in the winter time because I have two fans going. But then it's, it stays moist longer. And then if it skins over and it hasn't skinned over too much, I can take a little water like I did earlier and just cut it in. Oh, that's doing pretty well. Um, what else? Well, there was an um, I had another thought and it left my brain. I don't know, it doesn't matter. Bigger puddles last longer. Okay, oh, we could use matte medium or we could just use thinned out titanium white. Do you guys have a preference to make the see-through wings? Here I used titanium white and it was too heavy and I just swiped it, washed it off basically. I think it's something you need to play with, and it's more helpful than watching me, because you can't feel it or see it. You know, you can see it, but you mm -hmm. can't feel. Well, I'll just put some out while I wait for people to. So stir it. I like with their varnishes, gesso, stir it, but don't shake it. You don't want any bubbles. It's like a martini. Of course, I don't think I have much left in there. There we go. Stirred, not shaken. Isn't that James Bond? Shaken, right. not stirred. Shaken, not stirred. That's <laughs> the backwards. The reverse. So I'm going to take about the same amount. That's a little more of the titanium white. And put it in my matte medium and stir it up. So half and half. And wait for an answer. You do what you want to do. I can't tell. It feels like it's mixed. Okay, so I'm going to do it pretty much like I did the petals. I'm going to stick the corner in. We're going to figure out where we want to attach it. We're going to attach it to the yellow. And then I want to figure out, we kind of want it to go that way. So stick it down and pull. Ooh. And that wasn't very transparent. So what do you do? 
Just wipe that up. I had too much paint. Kind of shape it too if you want. All right, let's try it again, a little less paint. I wanted to make sure you could see it. <laughs> it backfired on me a little bit. Leanne likes the medium. Oh, good. Zinc white works great. It'll feel a little different to you. Or mixing white. Um, in Liquitex, it's transparent mixing white. I use that in my cloud video. The famous cloud video. Yeah, the, that cloud video is up to like... What? I looked at it recently. I don't know, but I, I get several comments a week on it. Mm -hmm. And I respond. I try, you know, hopefully I don't miss anybody. That's kind of fun. I like that. A little different looking. It's going to dry darker, I think. We'll yeah, 137,000. Ooh, 137,000? Mm hmm. I think our next best video is in like 12,000. 18. Oh, 18. Mm hmm. Things are doing better than I realized. <laughs> And then the one after that is 13, and it's your four-minute no-thumbnail cow time-lapse. Yeah, and I, I end up doing a traceable for that. It's, a mm -hmm. it's like a really bad first video. I wasn't even planning on being a YouTuber yet. <laughs> Somebody picked that up, a couple, a website or two, hmm. and it really drove. And then people like that it's black and white. I think people like that it's super short, even though I get complaints. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just kind of like you get just the the gist of it and yeah and then uh, people were commenting on that when i set up a trace for it i don't know a year or more later i think we're in our third year of youtube because we had i think we had can. a may birthday and youtube told me oh cute happy but birthday I, to us but am i so i think we're in our third year i don't think we're wow. in our fourth no i don't think so yeah. but it gets a little weird because it's not a calendar year mm -hmm. agreed and i joined youtube like in 2009 but i was just watching you know so I'm waiting for it to dry. Oh, here, we could do a little play, and then I'm going to splatter. Um, orange dots? We could put some, I don't think I want to add another color. We could. One way, one easy way to keep your paintings looking better, for lack of a better adjective, is to not use all the colors I have on this palette. It looks really colorful. Well, that's not actually true. I did use all these colors except for the red. Um, but to use... A limited number of colors you know don't you can put out 12 if you want but I think it's easier to paint if you don't so I have out of the tube I have yellow um, bright aqua green prism violet and quinacridone magenta so I have four and then black and white I don't count as colors but if you want to then that's six it's just a really easy way to keep things simple I'm trying to decide what else we could do while I wait for my bee to dry. I don't want to splatter it. Oh, I suppose I could cover it. Mm -hmm. I could cover it. Which one do you guys like better? Here, maybe we need screenshot before I splatter. I like the big, bigger size of the bee. Is that in? Sorry, I keep moving it. I kind of like the purple in that bee. So this is beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for coming. So, like, I'll like one, and then mm. a week later, I'll like the other one better. I changed my mind. <laughs> I like the purple and the left better. Do you? I think I like the right B. Oh, yeah? yeah I do like the blue tummy, though. The blue tummy's kind of neat. It's a good use of the color. Mm -hmm. That's kind of like the blue underglow I have on that cow I just finished. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I could show that if people want to see it. They can let you know in the chat. I'm trying to decide. I, so what I want to do is I want to take a photo of it or I want to get a couple feet away from it to see what it needs. I think we're okay, though. Leanne says, I love them both. Suzanne says, I think the two are cute. I can't choose. <laughs> oh, that's totally fine. Um, Marty says, it's a toss-up. I like both. Everyone likes them both. Okay. I'm asking hard questions tonight. Yeah. Well, I get overcritical of my own work. I mean, that's probably no, I mean, I think that's pretty normal for many people. I'm trying to decide what color. Maybe let's do the dark purple. Ooh, and it's starting to 
It's starting to dry up. I love that prism violet. I could have mixed, um, I could have put out a blue. I don't think, could I mix a purple with quinacridone? I forget. Let's see what it does. That's kind of half and half. Martha loves both. Oh yeah. I'm going to get a purple, but not as pretty, I don't think. Okay, thanks. Thank, I appreciate the feedback, you guys. That's a pretty, that's even a prettier purple than when I did it that way. That's grayer. But it's not too far off. I don't know if you can see the difference on the stream. I'll quit, when I quit wiggling it at all. This one's a little pinker. You can probably see it in the smear out section against the white plate. Yeah, I think you can see that it's a little more magenta. Yeah, I'm glad I put out the prison violet. It's just prettier, juicier, since I'm going for lots of color. So I grabbed... Ooh, I knocked a quarter off. Oh, probably a nickel. A nickel. Yeah, it is a nickel. I grabbed a craft brush that's awfully close to this number six round. But it has few bristles, so it'll wiggle more. I don't have... I've got a really long one that'll wiggle nice. But I use it for watercolor painting, so I don't want to use it for acrylic. So I, I pretty much use this one for splattering. Or you could just dot, too. So I'm just thinning it with water. So it's about like milk. And I say that with a question mark because it just varies. Oh, and you know what? I haven't done this in a long time. What percent are we talking? Oh, I'm going to go for 1%. <laughs> okay. Did you like the side? Yeah. Oh, I think I threw away all my uh, metal. Oh no, there's one. So during the winter when I'm splattering a lot of snow, I use Dove chocolate wrappers. Oh. <laughs> so I'm looking, oh, and I stuck a paintbrush to it. I'm looking for, you could use a piece of paper towel. If it's dry enough, you could use a piece of tape. But I like, cause it's just, or foil. But I can kind of fold it to the B shape. Martha asks, do you put your Ziploc bag with your palette in the refrigerator? No. I wonder I, if that would, would that save your paint more? Um, I think it does. I just Ooh. don't. I think people I've do, that, do that, but I don't have experience with it. I just don't. I'll end up, like I haven't, I worked on a truck I don't know how long ago, mm -hmm. and it hasn't gotten any farther since the live we did. Um, I'll just have to put out new paints. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't even spritzed them. I just, I totally went into, I got to do other thing mode, other things. Yeah. But I probably should put that one in the fridge, see. Okay. Well, I'm always a little nervous. Here, let's. And then I get little splatters on my glasses and my iPad. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's not do too many as I keep going. <laughs> see how this looks. Oh, I think I like that. We could put some strategic ones in. And then I've, I think I've showed you guys this. Emily and I learned this when we worked at a paint your own pottery place. You'd come in the, was that Bisque, Emily? It was already yeah. fired at least once. Yep, it's Bisque. And then you had glazes that you painted on it and then we fired it for you. And we do kids birthday parties and classes and stuff. Anyway. So I learned this trick there. You, you can take any brush, and they're, they're different sizes. This one's smaller than this one. And you can dip it in your paint, and then that'll make a bigger dot, or whatever size dot the brush is. So that's a nice way to control it, if you would like that sort of thing. I'm like, where? <laughs> Try to be random. I think we're done a little bit early tonight. If you guys have any questions, I'm going to sign it. I feel like these need to be a little brighter, but I don't know because I want them in the background. I want them pushed back. Yeah, I agree. Um, but see, my background, the back, the value of the background matters. I think I have lighter here and this darker um, here. I get more punch here. It's not funny. I think I'm just going to leave it alone and sign it. Well, let me know if you give this one a try. I think that'd make a cute card. You could totally do it in watercolor. Oh, that would be a cute card. Yeah, you could do a lot of fun things with it. 
um, Debbie that does all the crap, mm -hmm. uh, just the zillions of things. She's in the Annie Tro Art Friends Facebook group. She probably has some really fantastic ideas. She does so much. So Posca pens. Liam um, says, looks great. Thank you. Two hey, heart Leanne. emojis. Thank you, thank you. Um, some people use Sharpie. It has alcohol in them, and I'm, I lean, I want things to be archival. Uh, these are archival canvases. 100% cotton canvas, uh, acrylic gesso, triple primed, archival quality, acid free. So the 100% cotton and the acid free, even if it doesn't say archival, are good clues. So these are paint pens, acrylic paint pens. Oh, I was going to say 0.7 millimeters. I just scribbled it on a piece of paper. Is this color going to work? I think I signed the other one in this color. I did. Since I do, I've said this a bunch of times, I do my initials and one dot for favorite son and one dot for favorite daughter on the front. And then I sign the back. And I sign the back Annie Tro, which isn't my legal name, because I don't want people who buy my art to have my legal signature. Mm -hmm. I feel like I repeat myself a lot, but then I run into something like, oh, good tip, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll do a screenshot before I say goodbye. I think I like the splatters. I really like the splatters. <laughs> We could splatter white, but I don't want it to look like snow. I don't think it will, but it might. It could get arty out here. And we made me a, the art hug guy. <laughs> yeah, where is he? Oh, is he out there now? Yeah, oh, he's it's got just, him I forget there. that it lags sometimes. Hey, Glenda, I just looked in the chat. I think you're really behind. Oh, am I? I could be. Oh, it doesn't. It won't let me go any further though. Forward. Oh, it won't. oh, maybe you're just reading far back. <laughs> oh, I am. I am. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you said that earlier, and I was oh, like, did I? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I am. I didn't realize the chat wasn't scrolling. Oh, well. Oh, well. A little bit more entertaining. Marty says, love it. Great. Well, thank you. Thank you for hanging out with me. It's really fun for me. I have so many new art friends. I just love it. Um, I couldn't do this without all of you. Great, big, happy art hugs. And I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>